Good evening. Bruchim Aboim. Peschim Bechved Achsanya. We acknowledge and thank very much Rabbi Rosenfeld and Holle from Oletera for allowing us the opportunity to gather here tonight in the hall. Mevin Shanem Allah. By definition, the vessel that this kinos be one, that be productive and bring about a true kidu shem shemayim. We begin with a tefillah l'Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Baruchenu, Avinu, Kulanu, Keachot. In these final darkest moments of Golos, we call out from the depth of our heart for the bracha that we succeed in our sacred mission of holding the torch, the light, in these final darkest moments of Golos and ushering in the Geula. With the counsel and advice of Rabbanim Amashpiyim, it would be befitting to begin Achsidish Fabrengen with Achsidish Enigm. Samolgeven, 
was kol hendai halme wollt er nicht da weggegeben von dem teile sachos er gehat und das gewinn a sachos er bekommen bei rusche an even joker was er gewinn speziell mit dem even joker is jeder sach in leben was hat sich bei ihm gemacht every problem that came up in his life wollte nur a kugiton of dem even joker mit a mol kiloi hoya schon bei is panosse daigis atlus every imaginable situation in life wie nur a kugiton of dem even joker it is all snell him geworden as he had gelebt a ganz leben a glückliche leben the most successful happy life one can ever imagine and then it passed on as he gang weiter zu dem kommende kinder zu die kinder von eneklag und bis sie kommen an enekel was hat weiter gehalten dem even joker gor gor tired He would protect it. Er wollte es gehitten mit Boba saying dass er gewinnt bei ihm die teilste Sache. Er wollte weggegeben sein Leben. Als keiner soll zu dem stehen, nicht zu reden. But time came to pass. And as he grew up, life situations, he came in the problem in the tagtägliche Leben. Und mit dem Mal macht sich das Problem. Und das ist Schwierigkeit. Und er hebt uns suchen nach Bullis und Aces. Und er startet seeking advice in all directions to his everyday life challenges, to his challenges in his Jena, sein tagtägliches Leben. Er hat den Ganzen vergessen. Der Charakter von dem Evan Joker, was liegt bei ihm. Behalten in seinen Aces, was es gerät bei ihm ist, aber wir sein Leben auf dem, bis ein Tag ist gekommen zu einem Chaver, an und ihr did. Ich sehe, du bist das Aces zu brauchen. I see life is taking a toll on you. I see your problems, your challenges, your trials and tribulations. Ich sehe deine Zorres, dein Bark von Zorres. Du weißt aber, was liegt bei dir, behalten. Do you know what you have in your treasures? Du weißt, wie deine Eltern haben mit dem gelebt. Dein Seide, wenn er nur ein Kugelton auf dem, Evan Joker. All of life's challenges, every situation, jeder, zorre schleitove, mit dem Mal ist beim Geworden lichtig. Du hast einmal eine Trage getan, to do that. The Matara of our gathering here tonight, is for one and only purpose, let it be clear <coughs> on the onset. Everything that will be shared here tonight, alles was mir geht, da reden ein bei Nacht, ist ein und einzige Matara. Ich esrei eu, ja zeiru, la achiv, yoimar chazak. Mir gehen sich ein und den zweiten chazak sein. Der Monnen, einer bei dem zweiten, unsere nonte chaveirim, Chassidim ein Mishpache, mir seinen ein einzigen Mishpache, b'nei av echot kulonu. Mir gehen ein und dem zweiten der Mannen, auf dem Evan Joker, was liegt bei jedem von uns. Dem Evan Joker von Teire, von Chassidis. Dem Evan Joker von dem Rebens Lichtigkeit. That when we only look in that direction, mit Amol wird bei uns Lichtig. Life becomes clear. We have direction, we have clarity in every situation that we might find ourselves. Nishdokin Sofik. Cheshach Agolus, this is a Cheshach Kofel and Mechupel, where Rebnach. Dem Cheshach Kofel and Mechupel, far, dem Eir Hageula, was mir weisen, a das der starkste Cheshach before the crack of dawn. We experience an unprecedented, and unimaginable darkness that charges at each and every one of us. Ain't bias. Asher ain't shom the nisyenes from cheshach hagolus. Nobody. 
Nobody is immune to the challenges of Chesh HaGolos. Whether it's the clip of the world without or the challenges within, we are all experiencing it. The pain, the anguish, the suffering, the tzad is yogin va'anocha, was Chesh HaGolos bringt mit sich. But let us remember that we are not only those who carry and have in our possession this Evan Yoker. But we were charged, we were given the Achrayus and the Schus to proudly hold up that Evan Yoker, das Ufheben la Eir la Goyim. We were the ones, Loya Pip Kidoseinu, Leibir Tseineinu. No one chose to be here today in Deir Ashvi, the day that will usher in the Geula and hold the torch of Teir and Yiddishkeit for the entire world to follow. But if we are here by definition, that means that we all carry that awesome responsibility. Tonight, Wissen, wo man steht und vor wem man steht. Was wir haben und was wir dürfen sich teilen mit der ganzen Welt. There's no other agenda. Von dem heutigen Abend wollen alle ruhig gehen. Mit einem starken Gefühl von Ashreinu, Matev, Chalkeinu. Wir sind die glücklichste auf der ganzen Welt. The Lichtigkeit, was wir halten, ist nicht nur etwas an Eir Ruchni, was trockt uns in der Kia Schwi. Das ist ein Eir, was macht lichtig unsere Leben in Chaye, Jem, Jem, Kipschute, in Chaye, Gashmi, im Kipschute, Chaye, Mishpach, im Kipschute, Glicklach in the ultimate sense of the word. Let us all unite and connect and open up our minds and hearts to hear from the Rabbanim and Mashpim that will share with us and help us recognize and find that Evan Yoker that we all hold so precious and dear, but to recognize that in it lies Dort liegt der Eir. Kol hatshuves al kol hasha'ilis liegt bei uns in der Hand. Yes, every question and every answer is there in our possession. So the Rebbe Shtegem, that as we all are here tonight united with one and only mission, Ritzineinu Durchfir in the Kavana, we all stand united and connected, telling the Rebbe that this sacred mission that you have charged us with, you knew who you are entrusting this Evan Yaakov, if the Rebbe gave it to each and every one of us in Deir Ashvi, the Rebbe knows our trials and tribulations. The Rebbe weiß, was wir gehen durch. Nonetheless, the Rebbe has perfect faith and trust in each and every one of us. That we will do justice to the empowerment that we all have. We will live up to it in our own personal lives. We will be a light unto our neighbors and friends. We will be in a way of chsidamei mishpacha, yishesrei azeru lachav yem lechazak. Not only tonight, but this is the new motto. This is our vision. This is our focus of attention to see that we shear that light. We illuminate our surroundings. We live with the eid hagiula that we are about to experience and recognize that the entire world is waiting for us to show the way so that they can follow. Yashikeach, Rebiel. Just a very brief summary of what we just heard in English is to recognize that the ideas of chsidis are not some truism that exists in some world, but this is reality. Every letter of the Rebbe is something that can transform our lives. It is not that we have to seek avenues or tools and skills to be able to access and go to the light of Chassidus. But the Rebbe is here for each and every one of us 
to connect. The idea of Layazat Say Marisa means that the Rebbe is da Fayyad Yidin, each and every one can and must and is able to connect and access the greatest light that one needs in their lives. It's easy to say and conclude that the Mashpiyam don't connect and they don't really relate to my personal matzav, something we hear quite often. In today's Nisyanus, there's no doubt that we all experience our matzavim. We've all been through some experience through childhood as we grew up, feelings of neglect, feelings of not being cared for, whether it was from our parents, educators, teachers, our environment. We felt dishonored. We somewhat lost touch with feeling confident with who we are and what we represent. But these are all the Nisyanis that did not happen by chance that Abish the fear developed. We all believe with perfect faith that everything is with Hakavana. And if we are all gathered here tonight through an experience that aroused our attention, so that we look deeper within ourselves of introspect, of seeing who we are, what we have and what we represent, this is all with Hakavana. It's not about pointing fingers, chas v'shalem, that's nonsense and stupidity. That Eibish da'ad gefir does mizal ala zayin da'ahayint. To recognize the gewaldike eisher that we all carry. To refocus in this darkest time where we are disillusioned and we can lose focus of our destiny. This is an awesome opportunity that we must channel in the right direction, that we take everything that we have here and whatever brought us here tonight, so that we grow each and every one of us in our Aveda of living up to that title of honor that we are members of Deir Hashvi, the generation that carries the light despite the Cheshach Kafal and Mechubal from Galas. Each and every one of us was given the unique opportunity in our matzav to illuminate our environment, to transform this cheshech layla kayem yoyer, to transform the cheshech into aid, as Rabbi El concluded. There is no doubt that as we stand on the eve of Chavdala Tevis, right in a few days, what better time is it for Hasidim to resolve that we connect to the tale of the Altar Rebbe. Let's think about the gift that the Rebbe wants to give to each chassid. How many times did the Rebbe hand to each and every chassid a noshim, noshim v'tav, sefer atanya? Once would have been enough. We would get the message, tanya is something the Rebbe holds so dear and I want you to take this and live with it. But the Rebbe and twice and three times. Not only Tanya, keep Surin Vahares on Tanya. And the Rebbe hands us and says, here is Kol Hachuvas al Kol Hashailis. You need nothing, no other address, you need nothing in your life. Don Nadir dein ganz lem malichtikait. We owe it to the Rebbe and say, Rebbe, this precious gift you gave us, we live with it. Every page is torn because it is something that our lives are imbued with. It's not something that we live for ourselves, but our children, our environment. See, their tata leapt, their mama leapt, with their tanya. May there be, can there be a shul in this community that doesn't have a kvies and shirach siddhis, not only Shabbos morning in the tale of the altar, but, but throughout the week. And as Rabbi El mentioned, chsidish of Fabrengitz must be real. A chsidish fabrengin is now when we open up a sefer and read out of a book, Gewalt Gishrigen. Is that going to inspire the youth? Is that going to ignite souls? Let us recognize what chsidish fabrengins were created for, that those truisms that we learn in chsidis are translated into an experiential level. As melet medem. 
We translate it into our day-to-day -day challenges. Yes, let's be honest. Let's allow ourselves the vulnerability to open up and share with our chaveirim. Why do we feel comfortable to call a friend and say, I've got back pains, you've got a good chiropractor? I've got some challenge, a health issue. Can you refer me to a good doctor? But where did we get lost in reaching out to our chaveirim and say, Epis gateman nisht, epis in the davenin. Ah, good maimer, can you refer me to a good geschmack maimer? I need some boost to my shalom bayis. Wo ken er zen, wo zap sa azach, was ken me der heim zu a hecher a lichtigkeit. The lichtigkeit that the Rebbe sheds light. To recognize, yes, in these final moments of Golas, there will be Nisyanis, and the Rebbe acknowledges you're not alone. Shalom Bayis is a universal challenge we all experience. And the Rebbe explains why, from a very practical perspective, the most challenging time in a Yiddish Ishtub with Shalom Bayis can sometimes get iffy is Erev Shabbos. We find ourselves today in Elif Hashishi. It's a global challenge. We're not alone. And the Rebbe has a formula to tell us. It's not about getting a tip here or a tip there. Let's get it straight. Our marriages were made in heaven and we spend our lives making it work. That it not, not we survive through it, but we thrive each and every day from it. It's something that it's inspiration to our children and our families. That's what Chassidah Shefabrengiz must look like. This is what Rabbi El is calling us. To recognize that we must shift gears, get real. A Chassidah Shefabrengiz must be one that everyone gets up and is charged up with empowerment to make it real in their lives, to take the ideas of chassidus and make it real, experiential. This is the energy that we are here today. This is the achlot of this asifa, one of the achlotas. If we're celebrating, if we're experiencing 200 years, at least 200 new shiurim chassidus, multiple shiurim, Tanya will be the program for life for each and every one of us. I look in the index in Tanya. I didn't find an index. I didn't find an amafteach, shalom bayis. I didn't find addiction. I didn't find my day-to-day -day challenges. The mashpiyam have to allow us to appreciate that when it says kol hatshuvis a kol hashailis, it has no expiration date. It has no limitations. There's no stars there near Kalachuvas or Kalashaos except for question 42, question 69, and 73. Those answers you will find elsewhere. When the Alter Rebbe writes Kalachuvas or Kalashaos, it means the Alter Rebbe knows each and every lives of us, each and every one of our lives. When the Rebbe hands us a Tanya today, the Rebbe looks us in the face and says, Nadir, here is life. What was yesterday's sheer Tanya, if not talking about Ribui Pa'amim, what is that if not an addiction? The language, we have to translate the language and bring it down to our day-to-day -day experiences. There is nothing that is short of us recognizing and seeing the answers in Sefer Atanya. That this is saying this, this awakening is something that we will not only respond to in a positive way, but this will bring a total new wave that will transform Adas Chassidei Chabad the world over. We carry the greatest Evan Yokar Shebekeser HaMelech we will share it with ourselves, we will share it with our environments, we will share it with the world. Where is the world looking today for direction, if not towards Chassidei Chabad? What are the shluchim of the Rebbe doing in all over the world? If not sharing the Rebbe's light and the Rebbe's teda? This will surely be Gedim and Achasruach Lamayla, that we will be all Kalim. To the Barcheinu Avinu, the Rebbe will shower each and every one of our efforts with tremendous brach and atzlacha. 
We will see pritay mamalenu. We will see literal life transformations in ourselves and our environments. We will all experience not only geula saprat, but collectively geula saklau. As we conclude the evening, as we conclude this gathering, I want to share a story on a very rare occasion that the Rebbe spoke about where he heard a story from his father. Let's pay close attention, pay close attention to hear the way the Rebbe tells us the power of Achsid Shemaisa and how the Rebbe's father told him the Maisa. In the early years, Reb Shmuel of Itten went into the Rebbe and he would say, and on one occasion he shared a story about Reb Nachem Chernobyl. Reb Nachem Chernobyl was one night sitting in Besamedrish when in walked a fellow who represented that he is a shliach mulamayla to come teach Reb Nachem. And it was very tempting for Reb Nachem to hear. Apparently, this wasn't so foreign to him to encounter such visitors. But Reb Nachem stopped and he said, come back tomorrow. He said, what's haste? I'm here to teach you. Say this, Atayda. You're telling me to wait? Reb Nachem said, come back tomorrow. And as he left, Reb Nachem ran to his Rebbe, the Magid. The Magid was Margish, what happened, and as Reb Nachem walked in, the Magid Gizok, chas v'shalom, chas v'shalom. This is a shliach from the Samachmem who's trying to bring you into its domain. He shomer v'hizor, do not hear from him. Following the night, Reb Nachem was sitting in Mesa Medrash, the fellow comes in again, and Reb says, I don't want to hear from you. And despite all his pressures, Reb Nachem refused, as he was instructed by the Magid. The Tamida Magid was somewhat not so pleased with the story. Ah, Reb Nachem Pravet Ruch as they found out about the story, what happened here? He was embarrassed, but he shared his own personal story. As a young child, he said, I was orphaned for my mother, <coughs> and my father remarried, and I grew up with Ashtif Mama, Bimloi Muvan Amila, stepmother. She made my life miserable. And I suffered many years, and one day I came home from Cheder, and I was very hungry. And my mother prepared a fine kuchen something like a pancake. We were a number of children. I knew my mother. She would take this one pancake, cut it into small pieces, small slices, and everyone would get one slice, and that's what I did. I was so starving, hungry, and I grabbed a knife, and I cut it into small pieces, and I only took a small piece until my mother walked in and said, what happened to this Feinkuchen who took it? And with great fear and trepidation, he walked in and he says, Mama, ich bin gewen uiz gehungert, I was starving, hungry, and all I took was that little piece that you would have anyways given me. And she looked at him with stern eyes and she said, Alein nemen, unfregen, a fila gute zach nemt me nicht alein, farmen fregt. And he concluded, he says, it went into my bones. It had a deep impression on me, and it was at that moment when I was very, very vulnerable to fall into that trap. I had that strength within me as Medarf Fregen. Reb Shmuel concluded the story to the Rebbe, and this is what the Rebbe responded. I also heard this story from my father with one correction and one addition. When the Tatot me the the Maise, does given that when he came home it wasn't a fine kuchen, so given zoyer milch. You see the diuk and achsid the Maise that the Rebbe was medayik, and the Rebbe, then the Rebbe said, when the Tatot me the the Maise, 
hat er uns geteitscht. Für was ist noch umgekommen, als er viel Zeit ist, alle junge Jahre? A young innocent child, why did, he, why did he deserve to suffer the abuse of his stepmother? Why? But it was something that was a, pre, a prerequisite. It was a preparation. One day he will illuminate the world in Me'er Enayim. He will be a leading light. And no doubt the, the opposing forces will stand in his way not to allow him. To be that light that he has to be into the world. And the Rebishtah was magdim refuel amakis sometimes in ways beyond that we can understand. But he understood that every experience in life is part of the divine plan. The Rebishtah tazoi uizgishtelt. That he should experience every detail in his life was part of the general scheme of what his mission in this world is. Volumes of insight, depth in this Maise. Rebbe teaches us how to say Achsidish Maise. It's a gewaldic Maise as it is, but let's apply it. Let's take it and have the application aside for the fact that we must know. As farmen nemt and farmen to darf men fregen. And that oftentimes, all the time, saves our lives when the Rebbe tells us, I say, Lecharav. And the expressions the Rebbe used when he said this Bakasha Nafshiz, the Rebbe used an unparalleled expression. I have yet to find a way to express this desire of mine that every chassid have an asay l'chalav and a mashpia, but for lack of any better words, I am using the words Bakasha Nafshiz. But it is far more than Abakashan Nafshis. Can we understand what it means? Abakashan Nafshis of the Rebbe that every Chassid have a Selah Kharav. Not to take a step. Not to think even on our own. Because we are so biased in the way we process that which we experience. A Selah Kharav will save your life, the Rebbe says. It will give you direction. Nonsense. My Rav doesn't relate. If you care enough. We just heard from the Rosh Hashiva. Your Gaiti. If you care enough to fulfill the Rebbe's Makosh and Nafshis, you will find that Mashpia. You will connect to him. We can't allow ourselves to walk around and say, I'm lost, I have no direction. After we've responded to the essential question, I have a Rav and I'm a Mashpia, maybe then we can begin to ask. And even then, the Rebbe's sikhs are so clear, especially the sikhs of the recent years, where the Rebbe tells us in Tavshin Yur that in the Rebbe Al's Bavarnt, when we learn the sikhs of Nun Aleph and Nun Beis, and we see the Rebbe presents to us a world so clear, so pure, so beautiful, that we see Geula is in the making. And most importantly, when we say that all of this is true, but those of us who have suffered some type of life experience and abuse as a child, this is different. This is an exception. All this would be true to the perfect individual. But anybody who had any life experience, it's an exception to the rule. I need some avenue to allow me entry into the world of Chassidus because I must rid myself from the trauma, the pain, the, in, the suffering inside. And in a simple chassidah shemaisa, the Rebbe tells us the experience you had or not by chance. As we heard before, there's no room for anger, resentment in our lives. Anger at something in the world is anger. And the moment we entertain, and allow ourselves to really connect to Achdus Havaya. We are free, we are redeemed. There's no resentment at all in our lives, not from today, not from the past. We see our entire life as one stretch of connection to the Mebishn and Durchfir in the Mebishn's Kavana. The Achlat is that the Vad who organized the Kinnus have asked that we all walk out with. And it's so self-understood, hearing from the Rabbanim and the Mashpiyim, 
We all know this is all an experience that was meant to happen. Apelot de Kazakh, the Alter Rebbe, writes in the Sharblat of Tanya. He speaks about Tanya as Derech Arucha Ktsara, but we also know this Ktsara Varucha. Why is Ktsara Varucha called a Derech if it doesn't lead you anywhere? Why is it a Derech? We understand Derech Arucha Ktsara is a Derech, it's a long journey, but Ktsara, you enter into the city. But how can Derech Ktsara Varucha be called a Derech if it's a dead end? But perhaps what the Alter Rebbe is telling us in introduction in Tanya, and this must be the mood, this must be the call that we all walk out tonight united. There are those of us who in our path, in our journey of finding entry into the city, have taken roads that we thought would lead us. We thought this will bring us any closer. It will bring us happiness and salvation until we have to find that there is no other path. There is no entry. Those journeys helped us reach the path, gave us the courage to embark on the derech arucha ktsara. It is also part of the derech. All of us tonight, if we've experienced various paths that we've been through in the past, it was only that we all recognize now to see the Eid Kitev, the Yisr Eid, Min HaChayshech. We see that when we now learn of our chsidis, we fabreng like chsidim. We have a chsidah Shabbos Yisrael. We see light years ahead. A total different world as were all the paths that we might have been through. Let us not spend a minute. Let there not be an ounce or an inch in our brain to speak about the past. We have no time. Daber el b'nei Yisrael v'yiso is the call of Meish Rabbeinu Shebedereinu. We are heading to Geula Egyazman. Golaschem is real. We got to get with the program. We have to make chassidus real in our lives. We have to care for each other with true, genuine chassidus shavas Yisrael. Mitavarimkeit, mitagefil. This will illuminate our world. This will illuminate the world not only for ourselves, but will be a light to which the entire world is looking to follow. The Rebbe's chassidim, the Deir Ashvi, ushering us in. To the Gula Amit is Ashlema, we will be united. To Malkeinu, Bereshenu, take it from Yad Mamish. Amen! Tremendous Yashikech to the Ma'arginim. God was Chusam Vashri Chelkam to bring about Akinus. Was no Hemna, was no La Shemayim, no La Elam. Was Zichir Azach, was Gaden, the Rebbe, Magivaldikin, Achas Ruach. We all walk out from here with a tremendous. New wave of Avas Yisrael, Achsidish Avas Yisrael, Ish Yisrael Yazeru Lachav Yemen Chazak. As mentioned earlier, we have now this little bit of time till Chavdala Tevis. We can invest all our energies, and we must invest all our energies, in creating and establishing Shiur Achsidis in every corner, nook and cranny, whether it's Black Shiurim, Shtiblach Shiurim, not only Shabbos, but throughout the week. And as uh, and Rav Shach had mentioned earlier, the Mashpiyim will all avail themselves and recognize that if they carry a light, it's something that the Rebbe is counting on them to share it, to inspire others. Whether it is in giving shiurim or being there available to all of their mushpayim, giving them the direction, giving them the insight, the chizuk, the chayis, is tremendous need for the Mashpiyim to avail themselves so no child, no bacher, no younger man should think for a moment that I have nowhere to turn. In addition, there was a new uh, initiative of Chassidus Yemi Dach Yemi, a beautiful new initiative of a daily Chassidus, which is Mamarim of the Alter Rebbe, the Turgim, and brought down in a very, very easy, readable fashion. This doesn't only limit to public shiurim, but each individual younger man, bacher, to make kviyas and betachaver. This is part of the achana for Yud Shvat, Yem Agadl, where the Rebbe wants us to make achana, to ready ourselves, indu hachin kulchem, lekabel, birches havaya, atem, neshechem, bnechem, neseichem, and we should be zeichem. That this very Yud Shvat, we should all be together, melech, biyafya, itachzeno, ineinu, digula, mitiz, vashlema, umalkeinu, bereshenu.